Hello, hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the VBA for the group project. Uh, the, uh, okay, this is more for the greedy method. If you want to know how to do it for the, the class 1 classification model, please refer to video uh, 8-4. Okay, This one is for the greedy method, which by the way, is optional. Uh, uh, this bonus 2 marks uh, um, only accounts for 1.4% uh, of the total grade. Uh, so please, if you don't want to do this, you can choose not to do this. 1.4% uh, is not going to affect anything very much, okay? You don't go crazy over it because I do know that your workload is very heavy and that is why I put the bonus very, very low because uh, this is just an incentive for those who really want the challenge and want to go far with it. Uh. Okay, so let's begin. As you can see over here, this data set is like a mini version of the of the group project, right? And then you have Adrian, Bdrian, Cdrian, Dedrian, you know, ABCD, like, basically, right? So, how do we proceed with this? Well, first of all, we need to know the total availability, right? Uh, availability is when the person says yes, correct? So, what, what do we do? Just like what you learned in lecture 2 is just count if, then you select the range, okay? Look, for, look over here in this highlighted region and count if it says a yes with quotation marks then you enter okay done now what if i want to uh, count the number of yeses on this side now i'm showing you this okay because some of you feel you might want to do it in your greedy method so equals to count if and then you highlight and then you i, I just say yes look over here and if it says yes then you count it uh, basically then you drag so simple as that okay now Greedy method means you need to sort things in a particular order, correct? So how do we sort? Well, if I want to sort, let's say, by, by column G, yeah, I mean, you might have some other criteria that you want to prioritize over, right? So I just use custom sort, and then I will choose, uh, make sure you turn on my list as headers, and then I will choose like something like this, uh, total availability, okay? There we go. Now, if you have this and you want to sort by this, the 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 some of you might want to go, oh, I'll just cut and, and, and paste the column. Uh, yeah, you can do that. What's the easiest way? You highlight everything, including the numbers below. Then you choose custom sort, and then you go to options, and you find that you can actually sort from left to right. Ha! Ah, didn't know that, right? Okay, now I tell you, now you learn something new. So you can sort from left to right. And then uh where which row contains my the numbers? Row 11, right? So I will choose row 11 and then, ah, of course, you will see that some columns get moved. Then, you, then okay, la, then you just cut and you paste back. Ta-da! Now, of course, you're asking the question, how do we write this in VBA? Now, if you notice, instead of telling you how to write this in VBA, I just show you how to do it on Excel, right? That's because the, the, the command for sorting is so long, I don't even remember. So, how to write the command to sort? Just record macro la. Then after you record a macro, you get the code, right? Then you can cut the code and paste it into your other thing. Or you record macro first, then you write the rest of your code below. Then there we go. <laughs> what do we do next? Ah, uh, next we need to go from. Uh, next we need to check who to allocate, right? Because in your greedy rule is sort in a certain order by priority, right? I prioritize so and so first, the second, third, fourth, fifth, right? So in a particular order, and then you. Pick and allocate, right? If you miss the criteria, then you allocate. If not, then, 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 then you move on to the next person, correct? How do we do this? Turns out it's exactly like the maze. So for example, so, so I'm going to show you three different uh, approaches. Let's start with the first one. First one is we start here and then we just go down until we find a yes, okay? So this is a no, right? Um, cell B2, no, right? Then I move down. Okay, then this cell says yes, correct? Then I can color this yellow. But remember, one, one feature in a video, we have to mark as considered so that we don't look at the person again, right? So, uh, you can write code to just color everything in that row yellow, okay? Now, what do we do next? Then we start from the top again, in the next color, and then we go, this is a yes, okay? Oh, then, end of story already, right? Then we just color everything here. Now, how about the next one, okay? Uh, we go, it's yellow, ignore, go down, yellow, ignore, no, then we move on, yes, uh, yes, so then I will color as yellow, okay, now I move on to my next session, okay, then I start from row 2, yellow, ignore, yellow, ignore, oh, it's a yes, right, so I color, and then I color the, to mark as considered, and then, fifth one, fifth column, yellow, ignore, yellow, ignore, yellow, ignore, yellow, ignore, then we have no, then we move on, no, then we go down again, yes. Okay, then we color. So 
Who do we allocate? Well, Bijan for session 1, then Adrian for session 2, Dijan for session 3, Sijan for session 4, and Jijan for session 5. Of course, if, if you're going to say, oh yeah, all the, the yellow very hard to see, then, then what you can do is, the first one you colour yellow, then, then you colour it like black or something like that. Uh, easier, right? Uh, I leave you to decide how you want to do the colouring, but basically you can do this, okay? There, there we go, done. We got the VBA code to do the work. That is method one. Now, what is method two? Method two is very similar, but it's, we just change the direction. So, how does it work? I will, I will look at, where, I will focus on the first person, Adrian. So this is a no, then we go, then we move on. Lah. This is a yes, right? So, since, since this is a yes, I color this yellow, and then I, I, can, I color the rest yellow, or you want to color, color a different color, let's say black. Lah. Okay, to just, just to mark as considered. Okay, so Adrian has been allocated. Now we go on to the next row, right? Then this is a yes. Okay, so we color this yellow and then we color the rest black. Okay, mark as considered, right? Then we go on to the, the next row, Cedron. Black, ignore, black, ignore. No, move on. Yes, correct. Yes, then we color yellow and then we color everything else black. Okay. Then, what do we do next? Then we go on to the next row, Dijun. Black ignore, black ignore. Uh, this one is yellow, correct? Then we highlight, and then we color everything else black. Then, we go on to the next row, Ijun. Black ignore, black ignore, black ignore, black ignore, no. Then we go to the next row, black ignore, black ignore, black ignore, black ignore, no. Then we go to the next row, black ignore, black ignore, black ignore, black ignore, yes. Then we color yellow, and then we color the rest black or whatever color you want to do uh, just like that uh. so then yellow okay so this is uh, method two of course you might not be a fan of doing all this coloring stuff all right that's fine what one other thing you can do okay this one is a little bit more tedious but if you can uh, good for you so is we, we we can put the sessions here so this row will put the sessions this row will put the name okay so what do we do in method three well up to you which direction you want to move but more importantly if you find a yes you check whether there is a name for that session if there is no name for the session then you put the name in so for example uh, so how, how will it work no I, I move on then yes for session 2 right then I check is this empty uh, it's empty right then I put Adrian okay very good now I go on to the next person oh session 1 is yes is session 1 empty yes then I put Adrian okay very good then I move on to the third one. Okay, uh, session one is yes, but I have a name in here, right? Bidren. Now session two is a no, I, I move on. Session three is a no, I move on. Session four is a yes, right? Session four is empty, so I put Cedren. Okay, then I go to the next row already. Uh, Dijun. Uh, session one, yes, but it is filled up. Session two, yes, but it's filled up. Session three, yes, but it's empty. Okay, so I put Dijun. Okay, okay, then I move on to the next one. Uh, Ijun, yes, but it's filled up. Session 2, no. Session 3, yes, but it's filled up. Then session 4, no. Session 5, no. Okay, then I go on to the next person, Fjun. Session 1, no, no. Session 3, yes, but it is filled up. Session 4, yes, but it's filled up. Session 5, no. So I go on to the next person, Jijun. Uh, session 1, yes, filled up, cannot. Session 2, yes, filled up, cannot. Session 3, no. Session 4, no. Session 5, yes. Okay, then I put Jijun. Done. Ta da Okay, so these are the three methods. Uh, you feel free to choose whichever three methods are applicable to your greedy room. Now, like I said, this video is only to teach you how to do the VBA. It's not a tip or some hint or whatever uh, Illuminati thing, conspiracy theory that I'm trying to hint to you the correct answer. Uh. No, uh, not at all. Uh. Okay, I'm already telling you as it is. Uh. I'm just teaching you how to do VBA and covering all the bases so that you don't, so that uh, it will try to cater to, to all the different needs that's out there. All right. So that's all. I wish you all the best. And in the week, in the days to come, I will upload the different VBA practice videos. Uh, scissors, paper, stone, fireworks, and all that. Uh, it's not easy to add, to film videos. It's not easy to edit videos. So so give me a while, uh. So all right, all the best for the group project. I wish you all the best and see you around. Bye bye.